So to everyone out there from ESPN and for all who watch ESPN, one word, booyah! Um, I uh, come here um, to thank everybody. Um, there are, I've had six bosses in my 27 years at ESPN and three of them are here tonight. Um, Howard Katz, John Skipper, George Bodenheimer. Three are absent. Mark Shapiro, Steve Bornstein, and Jim Allegro. And all six of those people, I can say, are very close personal friends even to this day. And part of that is the environment and the culture that they created at ESPN. The hallmarks were collegiality, collaboration, conscientiousness, and competitiveness. And um, to this day, that's what makes ESPN and what has made ESPN for over 30 years the network that it is. Um, but I want to I, I'll say I want to thank, pay homage to the honorees tonight. I know most of them, just like Bill, um, and um, they've all contributed greatly to the uh, profession of sports television. Um, the uh, the thank yous that I really want to give tonight are first to my family, my brother, Jimmy, my sisters, Ellen and Ann, and some cousins all came all the way from Scranton, PA. Uh, okay, applause for Scranton. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, the, uh, uh, but I want my immediate family, um, our North Star, Emily, um, the, uh, our son, James, who I will attempt to pass the baton on to be the go-to guy in the family. Um, but I also want, before I talk about my wife a little bit, I want to talk about my mom, who would have been 101 today. And when, uh, when I was out of work in 1987 and consulting for ESPN, she would visit us um, in Washington and just say, John A, you're out of work. And I would say, Mom, I'm between jobs, okay? <laughs> and um, then I got this job at ESPN and she came to our home in Marion, Connecticut. And she said, they pay you to watch television? That's what they do? And I was taking furious notes watching Sports Center or whatever. She said, well, I have to talk to someone about this. Um, but, the light of my light is my, my, um, my wonderful and beautiful wife, Ellen. Um, she is the rock of my life. She's the rock star of my life. And now um, I'm engaging her in the rock of ages. <laughs> um, she's gregarious, she's entertaining, um, she's thoughtful, uh, she, she's engaging. She has a great um, intellectual curiosity, and she's a great observer of culture. Um, just to give you an idea, if you want to bring up sports, when I first met her in 1978, um, we were at uh, a thirst-quenching emporium called Runyon's, along with Bill Raftery. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, someone threw out the question, does anybody know um, the name of Army's Lonesome End. Sure enough, there was Ellen Donato who said, yeah, Bill Carpenter. So whether it's Bill Carpenter um, way back then or it's telling you where she was when Dave Roberts stole second base in 2004, she knows her sports. But more importantly, she has this wide cultural vision where her, um, her cultural observations are fantastic. Uh, whether it's the movies and the plays of Martin McDonough, whether it's the poetry of Billy Collins, whether it's the lyrics of Leonard Cohen, whether it's singing Broadway musicals from the 50s and 60s, um, West Side Story, Oklahoma, you name it. Um, and um, I, get to West, I get to experience this every day. And, um, I am truly grateful for winning the lottery. Um, and it's, I, I remember one day Jim Allegro said to me, uh, 
gee, John, Ellen's really the, uh, the total package here <laughs> in, in his own way. And so after that, uh, soon after that, uh, Steve Anderson and Jim Allegro were out, and I were out socially, and Jim Allegro observed to Steve, you know, Steve, Ellie does a lot for John. And Steve looked at him, and shaking his head, and said, Jim, you just found that out? <laughs> so um, thank you, Ellen. I would not be here tonight, and I would not be doing this if it weren't for you in my life. Um, sec That's good. Um, second, um, there was a fellow that I met at ESPN, and it was um, 30 years ago, Thursday night, that Steve Anderson invited me to an ESPN Christmas party, and I met the indomitable Roe Anderson. And um, we have had this great friendship through the years, but Steve is truly, you know, we had this, uh, human resources used to say, well, who are the cultural car uh, carriers in the business? Steve is not a champion of cultural carriers. He is the champion at ESPN of cultural car uh, carriers. You know, if there, was a, if there was something difficult, if there was some, a colleague leaving the company and it was going to be a difficult conversation, front of the line, Steve Anderson volunteered. If there was a difficult negotiation, front of the line, Steve Anderson volunteered. And when Joe Torrey was all pissed off because we showed Roger Clemens throwing a bat at Yankee Stadium about a thousand times, we had to write a letter to uh, Joe and explain what we were doing and why we were doing it. Volunteer to write that letter? Steve Anderson. Um, but more, most importantly, if you were working at, Steve, at ESPN and you were working on anything and you didn't ask for Steve's advice, you were missing something. If you didn't look at the way Steve judged things and admire it, you were missing something. And so we had this partnership, and it extends into retirement and our friendship. And it was established early on, and we had one observation which stuck with me. When um, Howard came to ESPN, um, Howard had experience at ABC, and he uh, asked Bino Cook to interview all of the live Heisman Trophy winners. And we had um, a producer that Howard knew at ABC who was doing the interviews. And the producer came back and he went in to see Howard and said, hey, it went great. But I want to know, um, who is the employee here whose name is Anderson Walsh? <laughs> and, uh, and then the producer, and, and Howard laughed, and then the producer said, everywhere we went, all I could hear Bino say was, effin' Anderson Walsh. <laughs> and that effin' is an, So thank you, Steve, and thank you all for a wonderful run. And I want to say to everyone that I will be seeing all of you a week from Sunday night. <laughs>